What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be doing something really cool and I think really special. We're going to be unboxing a Star Wars scene made by Hasbro. It's going to be really cool. But before we get to it, why don't you guys go ahead and like and subscribe here on YouTube. Check out my other unboxing videos. Check out my Star Wars video gaming series I'm doing. Really enjoying everything I'm doing. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, so on and so forth. While you're out there on the interwebs, check out my social medias. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. Now, let's get to the unboxing. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Tantive 4 hallway scene. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. The scene at the beginning of A New Hope where we see the stormtroopers attack the rebel troopers and then Darth Vader enters. And then the end scene at the end of Rogue One. We see Darth Vader with his grand, grand entrance. Lightsaber ignitions. People dying. Grand scene. Great hallway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we have it in the Vintage Collection scale, I guess you'll call it, the Tanta V4 with a Rebel Fleet Trooper included. So you get the hallway and you also get a carded Fleet Trooper, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So just looking at the box, we uh, get just this one section of uh, a hallway here, I believe is included. So you get the backdrop of the wall, which is, you know, just your standard... Uh, rebel ship wall the uh, I believe she was a Corvette um, the Tanta V4 and uh, They have uh, it's set up here, you know to show the entrance of Darth Vader obviously, but it only comes with one trooper And this is what it looks like right here So just flipping the box around just gives you a kind of a better a better view Apologies some of it will be off camera because of the way I shoot, but you can connect different um, walls corridors if you will and make just a one big set uh, as you see here you can make the whole hallway which hopefully one day you know we'll get to do just flipping around like they're kind of giving you a uh, I guess a scale arrow there very nice can't wait to open it up and uh, uh, really see what it uh, uh, looks like so yeah just to play on the classic Kenner um, series that they put out in the early days. So let's go ahead and get this open. Got R2 and uh, Leia here on the side that we're going to be opening. Just a great scene. So how did everybody enjoy the Book of Boba Fett now that it's over with? On a, uh, a little side note. I really enjoyed it. I thought every episode was good. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys... Uh, how you guys liked it. So first off we got a little instruction booklet here. We'll go ahead and lay this back down. As I said I'm going to try my best to put this most of this on camera. It's very much in there. And there it comes. So I was actually kind of hoping that the Rebel Fleet Trooper was going to be unpunched being it is a set, but it seems he is very much punched. So here we have it. There's a lot going on here. May have to uh, do this in different parts. But here we have the wall. Very nice. It just kind of snaps together here. This is already snapped together. Let's go ahead and bring that up uh, fairly close, just to see details. The lights, the pa wall paneling, everything is very, very nice. The plastic is very, very hard, durable feeling. The back side is obviously blank. So yeah, you got your con uh, control panels here, wall panels, and all different kinds of stuff this is a really really nice looking just right off the bat and we have more stuff to cut into here which is 
just slice those right off. And they really, really are tough. Whatever those, I believe they are floor, flooring. All right. Let's just get a look at one of these right here. So yeah, they're all pretty much the same looking, and I guess they kind of snap together. We'll look at the instructions in just one second. So here is the um, Rogue One Rebel Fleet Trooper. Very nice. We get a figure unboxing and a scene unboxing. Always a fan of that. So we're going to save him for last. Very nice figure here. Can't wait to get him open. We'll sit him aside. We'll continue with the scene itself. And what we have here seems to be the doorways. And wow, look at this. The uh, They close. <laughs> That's very cool. Very, very cool. And they're double-sided. So you can use either side, which is very, very cool. That doorway is, <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> All right, so another wall slash doorway. Doors move very, very smoothly. <clears throat> Excuse me. More cardboard. And we have, no, oh, these are the floor. I guess those other gray things were locks, I guess, to uh, snap everything together. So let's go ahead and get everything laid out here. We have the two doorways with sliding doors. What I'm assuming is floors here. That's your standard gray floors. One has kind of a, a cutout on it. These things, I'm not really sure what they are just yet. And your wall. So quite a few pieces here with the um, Rebel Fleet Trooper included. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just open this up. So yeah, right off the bat you see that the stuff kind of snaps together. The doorway snaps on the end here. And... Um, the other doorway snaps on the so yeah that is the floor and these are just like kind of like um i guess supports for the back to keep it all standing up so yeah those kind of snap on the back like that let's go ahead and get this thing assembled very nice so just right off the bat those kind of go with the um with the circular part up something like that this kind of snaps in there so on and so forth maybe not pushing quite as hard or we'll just take that other piece right off yeah that seems to be way easier it should do one section at a time should have known better so yeah this kind of snaps on there like that very very simple and easy to set up you can kind of do it any any way you like we got sitting that way so the initial uh, snap on is a little difficult but nothing that you can't work around for sure all right Seems to be how they have it on the uh, paperwork. So let's go ahead and snap this back together. Maybe. There we go. And I went ahead and put one upside down, didn't I? I did. <clears throat> so yeah, just kind of snap those back off and just flip them back around so everything's uniform. That one doesn't seem to want to stay very well. That's okay. 
definitely not very hard to set up, but I guess that when the wall paneling fell off, it kind of messed me up. All right, everything's on kind of well. As I said, this one doesn't really want to stay on. Um, maybe that's because it goes like that. Are the instructions leading me astray? They had them all uh, with the ram part up. All right, so let's get the, the doorway on here. And that snaps onto the end, which is also like this. So I guess it really kind of doesn't matter how those back supports are uh, sitting on there. That just kind of snaps on there like that very easily. Looks very nice. The cut of it is uh, um, very tight. See, no, well, a little bit of light shone through, but nothing, nothing too bad. For the other end, I'll have to snap this on here. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and flip it up on its end here. Just so we can kind of see what's going on. Very nice. I believe I got that uh, assembled correctly. If not, that's just fine. Let's go ahead and get the floor on. So the curved part seems to go on the back side here towards this back door, which it seems this door doesn't go on this way, but it goes on through the back here. Huh. Doesn't stay on very well, I mean, I gotta figure what we're talking here. But there we go. There we are. Now, let me set this floor in right here. Possibly. And those just kind of snap in like so. I'm gathering. Maybe. All right, and there we have it. It got a little finicky there, but we finally got everything together. Got the floor and everything on went on kind of, kind of easy. A little, little trouble there, so we had to just go ahead and get it together. But there it is, the hallway scene of the Corvette Cruiser of the 1024. Excuse me. The back bracers are meant to align with the. Uh, knobs on the back so they can go either way even though i said they could only go one way earlier so yeah there we are both of the doors are on so you can kind of go into the uh, uh little hallway i guess where uh, c3po and r2d2 got into the escape pods and met princess leia and then you have the the full main hallway here where darth vader enters very very nice uh scene once it's all very um put together it's very very sturdy as you can see i can shake it around and nothing really moves except for the doors um very little light shines through the uh, panels everything clicks very very tightly the floor panels look great and the doors look great also so now let's go ahead and leave that propped up for the unboxing of the let's go almost knocked everything over there but for the unboxing of the rebel fleet trooper <clears throat> excuse me there we have it the vintage collection rogue one rebel fleet trooper your standard uh vintage collection card on the back we have a few different characters there as you can see none of which i have so this will be a first for uh, uh, this. I actually had the Darth Vader from uh, Rogue One, but he's in my uh, personal collection. I really, really like that. Let's go ahead and get him open. Kind of just peel the 
the edge up here. Keeping that card as fresh as we can. And just slide them right out. Very clean unboxing though. Opened up very nice. All right, so first glance, we have the um, the Rebel Trooper here with uh, quite a few accessories. He has one, two, three, four accessories that I'm seeing right here. Uh, we'll follow if you if you include the uh, helmet that he's wearing. So we got a ball cap here, very nice little baseball cap or whatever you call them in the Star Wars universe. Um, some kind of a uh, a wrist thing. Not really sure. It's going around his leg. Huh, we'll have to see. And the um, looks like a rangefinder, something of the sort. Some kind of device. Star Warsy device. And then we have the Rebel Trooper himself. Who is uh, who looks very very cool from the outside and yes the helmet does uh, let's go ahead and take that off it does come off so yeah very nice comes with a blaster pistol he looks great the face is very very well done articulation is very very much there a little stiff on that leg. Feet move very, very well. Very nice. Very nice trooper. And also comes with uh, great stuff. All right, and there you have it. The unboxing of the Tentative 5 4. Excuse me, I keep wanting to say 5 for some reason. I'm not really sure. But the Tentative 4 hallway scene from the beginning of a New Hope and the end of Rogue One included with a Rebel Fleet Trooper. Just a great package. Once you get everything together, it's very, very sturdy. It may seem flimsy at first when you get it out, but believe me, it is definitely not thick, heavy plastic. And the Trooper himself is what you would expect from a vintage collection figure, and the accessories are also what you would expect from vintage collection accessories. Everything is very, very well done. The packaging is great, the box looks great, and everything inside is just, just wonderful. Thank you guys for watching. It's a particularly long video, longer than I usually do, but there was a lot here in here to cover. So I hope you stick around and watch all of it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure and like and subscribe here on YouTube. It really, really helps. Every like, every comment, every subscription helps me tremendously. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok all at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.